Yo, what is going on guys? Raps here and welcome back to another Daily Destiny video. And in this video, we are going over some possible Rise of Iron exotics that you guys will be seeing. Now, of course, this is a possibility. It's not 100% certain. So if you do not see these exotics in the Rise of Iron, do not go ahead and start throwing pitchforks at me. But anyways, let's get straight on to this video. Now, way back, many of you guys may have remembered the April update, which was the last uh, DLC type of thing that we got from Bungie. Now, in the April updates, we were also expected to be seeing some new exotic armor. It was all in the database. In fact, this armor was way in the database even when the Tin King first initially launched, and then we just thought that they would release the armor later on in the year. However, they did not, and they actually removed it right before the April update came out. Or it was either right before or right after that they actually removed those items from the database. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and see what armor pieces they have. Now the first exotic armor that we can probably see in the Rise of Iron is the Ophidian Aspect. Now this is a Warlock Gauntlet with the exotic perk of being a Viper Totemic. Now of course this means improved ener energy drain and weapons ready and reload very quickly. So this one is quite nice as well, but the design is the key to how we are expecting to see this. I mean, just looking at it now, it is definitely one of my favorite things to look at, even to this day. Moving on though, we have the Ascrocyte Verse. This one is also a Warlock-centric um, piece of exotic armor, except this one is the Helmet. Now, the primary perk is called Teleportation, where it reduces blink cooldown and increases travel distance. Quite nice in my opinion. Now, moving on, we have the Transversive Steps. This one again is also for the Warlock and is the first exotic leg armor that the Warlock will be getting. Of course, the primary perk is Strange Angles where you gain faster movement speed while crouching. Also, picking up ammo automatically reloads the weapon matching that ammo's type. This one is also a pretty nice deal, especially the picking up ammo and being able to reload your weapon without actually having to switch to it. It's just one of those neat little features that you probably didn't think you need but once you have it you realize it'll be good next up we have the shinobu's vow this one is for the hunter now this is a hunter gauntlet and of course the exotic perk is new tricks where it improves the skip grenade and you gain an additional skip grenade charge now of course i do hate skip grenades but of course this one would be perfect perfect for all of you hunters who love to abuse the skip grenade on your Blade Dancer class. Next we have the Titan Thagomizers. Now these are pretty massive and it definitely changes the appearance of your Titan by quite a lot. Now these are gauntlets which are also exotic of course and the prime perk is 1 to punch where it unlocks the striker subclass node amplify for free and you also gain an additional melee charge. Of course, moving on though, we have the Dune Marchers for the Titan and the primary perk is as reads, increase sprint speed, increase movement speed while aiming your weapon and tighter and tighter turn radius while sprinting. Now with all that being said, these are all of the exotic armors which we might be able to see in the Rise of Iron. Now guys, of course, we are still missing some weapons, but before I go into that, let's not all forget about the Fire Lord as well as the Void Lord. Now, uh, these were actually showcased in the Bungie trailer, but we have yet to see anything of either the Fire Lord or the Void Lord in any of the past DLCs or even updates. In fact, the thing with the Fire Lord was that it was even in Bungie's April update ad. I also did a video on that for those of you guys who do remember, and unfortunately to this day, we have yet to get it. But that doesn't mean that Bungie will not be adding it to the Rise of Iron. It would make more sense to bring a fire type of base gun into the Rise of Iron as a new exotic just to see how they switch it up. I'm actually quite interested to see what else they can do with how the Rise of Iron portrays with all the exotic quests and all that. But anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more Daily Destiny content. Of course, this is your boy Raptor, and I'm out. Peace.